the old character designs were made back in the 90s, and back then it was a little bit different. And if we look at OVA 3, well, that pretty much speaks for itself. I'm almost afraid to say that they might canon give us Tenchi and, and like half-ass it and ruin the series for us, but... But people didn't like it. They very much did not like it. Oh, dry politics, uh, political intrigue, Gundam Wing. Dagmire, or I call him Douchemeyer, and it was on Chinese fan subs on like the last couple episodes, so I'm not even like 100%, but... It's certainly better than two episodes of Soulless Recap, three episodes of characters no one cares about, and one episode of Oh Shit, We Forgot the Plot. Ryoko laying down for Irie for Noike? Pfft, I'm not really watching Tenchi anymore at this point. The, the guy's about 52. So I think he's got a kind of long way to go. It's not over yet. You know, are they all doing with him what we see in that Omaki? Nobody wants to remember. I just, I, I look at it and it's just the perfect perversion. Big smile on my face. Um, you're gonna learn to love me. I, I can't help but mention how many people, like when St. Night's Tale was coming out, every episode people were saying, when's the Tenchi cameo? When is the Tenchi main cast gonna come in there and make their cameo? And it never happened. Besides the ham-fisted, convoluted story, defying gravity, all in a day's work. And if I were to introduce someone in the 20 years that the original OVA's been out, I would say start with Universe. But in Tenchi, filler is canon. At that point, no matter how good it is, it'll never be remembered for what it did right. Then the 16-car pileup happened completely deadpan, Sasami comes out of nowhere, and she says, he only likes you because you have those right to her breasts, and every time I see, I think of that, I just, um, hey, that's no way to treat a lady. Spoiler, Ryoko dies. You know, I want to go on the record right now and say that I didn't hate Tenchi in Tokyo. As a character, she just, she was kind of like an empty shell, but, uh, she wasn't even like a villain, she was just like a Mary Sue character that just kind of... Bella, you say? Nuike. I, I know many times I've said I wish they just didn't even do Noike, because Noike is basically Kione, and I don't care. All of your audience, regardless whether they live in Japan, the United States, Canada, England, wherever, they have to understand where you are coming from. Except she says she's a god, and that's supposed to be the, the ultimate variable that makes them an interesting character. Well, I got into Tenchi through Toonami. 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 Toonami, that was Toonami. Cartoon Network's Toonami. I was like, oh crap, Tenchi's on, I gotta stop. Promos were showing before Toonami started, and I went and watched it, and I liked it, so it was good, very good. It's not so much what, but who. Oh man, that was, was making me laugh. And that is OVA3, Tenchi Muyo Ryooki. I mean, that, that was that was one of the, uh, uh, okay, I'm done, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. And you know what really saddens me about it is how obvious it was that people just didn't, who were handling it, just didn't care about it. I mean, it just wasn't a big deal to them. It was like, oh, this is another show, we're just going to dub it and put it out, and who gives a shit what the fans think, you know? I mean, who cares that this is going to be in like a nostalgia trip, you know, like a coming full circle thing for them? Who cares? Uh, you know, I would, there's something I would like to mention, though, especially for the fans. You know, this whole... Uh, thing about um, quality. I would like it known that you know it really boils down to that old adage of you get what you pay for. If if there is any disparity, if there is any um, disappointment at all in like the later series, or if you get what you pay for. But I stuck with it because Tenchi's my thing. Also known as no need for product placement. We now return to your regularly scheduled Tenchi cast. I'm back. Did you miss me? And it's it's just it's a really fun experience, and I think every every Tenchi fan out there who has the ability should definitely play the game because it is it is very fun. Because you will end up dying in several spots. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget that episode where where they go get an apartment and they had to get multiple jobs. You know, and it was a needed change to go from log to character. One thing that I totally loved about the Universe, they really knew how to build you up bring you down 
obviously bring you down. I mean, look at the end of the series. It was hinted at, you know, that, uh, you know, Tenchi and Ryoko, there's something there, you know. And Tenchi is going to the movies. Uh, all I remember is downloading it and watching it on a very small two inch by two inch screen. My heart literally just stopped. Wait a minute. Tenchi the movie? Like, there's a Tenchi movie? Amorphous black blob creatures. Big budget movie theme ring to it. I don't know if the production team at AIC aimed for that feel, but they nailed it harder than the Death Star nailed Alderaan. Well, darn it, there's no way it can possibly top that. He just calls him daddy and he freaks out. To Yahuza. All the other girls are like, oh, you know, I'm going to be the mom, or no, I'm the mom. I would like to see the Hasegawa novels turned into an anime or something, simply because we don't even really know what's in them. It could have been named No Need for the Smoking Gun. We're here to do stuff. So why don't you think about that for a second. 1993, and had remained completely unknown, and that blew my mind. From canon to canon, that terrible word as we would call it, I said to hell with it. Tenchi's mother's name was Achika Masaki. It was never Kione. Okay, this is how shit's gonna get done. What's called the Divine Response Warrior. That guy, oh that guy, we could talk about him for a while. And in that moment, Ayaka has a chance has a chance. She could screw Ryoko over. This is not your typical pair of Tenchi. It is not your first it is not the Tenchi Muyo that you showed the a first a newbie that has never seen the show ever before. I'm not saying obviously that this is, you know, right, uh, or that anyone's right or wrong here, but I know I feel this way and a lot of other people in the fandom, because we feel in so many ways this is kind of the end of Tenchi. And it meant that we were going to see what really drove the characters and expand on that dramatic Tenchi we had only seen little glimpses of and not, next time on Tenchi in Tokyo the Game Show, woo! And I forget exactly what Aika tells him, but essentially she, is, she tells Ryoko to her face, you've always been the one who could always get to Tenchi, not me. Go get him, Ryoko. We have thing. goosebumps right now. I was going to say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, at first it was just a job that I did. And then it became this thing. Everybody liked it so much. And how lucky was that, that I got to be part of it. It's almost hard to believe it's been two decades of ancient demons, living ships, bounty hunters, lightsaber, I mean lighthawk lord, and everyone's favorite cabin. Just so you know how miserable you've made my life with this question, Dagon. It kind of epitomizes more of Tenchi and kind of lightheartedness and bouncy feeling of it. But uh, it's it's one of the many examples of where the uh, you know the English version, the, the dub of Tenchi, went above and beyond what we see nowadays with a lot of dubs. What are you doing in my house, you slut? And I heard that and I was like, did I really just hear that right? I don't know if this is something silly to point out, but I really like the colors they used. I don't know, I was sitting, watch, I was re-watching it to prepare for this, and I just, I liked it. It seemed so vibrant and happy. But the Mahoshi special, all eyes are on her. She gets center stage. But Tenshi is able to do it tastefully, if crucifying people can be done tastefully. How he's trying to standardize the world. He has a standardized programmers. Uh, yeah, it's still Bill Gates fighting Microsoft. I can still standardize the world with love! Oh man, where to begin? They, they tease, they'd even blow up and how in apartments to get their frustrations out. But that one really, really had me almost in tears by the end. That one was so sweet. Uh, it's kind of the expanded universe. It kind of goes off on its own little thing, uh, explores aspects and takes the time to explore aspects that maybe you hadn't thought about. It's always been a tie between Kagato and Kane. I mean, uh, he was the quintessential 90s anime villain as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> Making it Ayaka and Sasami's mother was not... And I don't think that Kagato was just the best Tenchi villain. I would argue he was one of the best anime villains, period. But we're gonna have a creature that can godmod everything, and then we're gonna have the most bullshit way of getting rid of it. Chuck, weren't you one of the her biggest detractors back in the third movie podcast? And yes, yes I was. Because that's kind of why I didn't 
been able to finish it. ...to herself. I love how NB essentially uh, trolls the entire show. And the big one that gets me there is he shows it to Aika, and now in GXP, she can know because reasons. It's why did I not like it? It's very subjective, but harem ending, you know? He gets them all. What? What's the point? I'm sorry, that's not... Ooh, fancy, whoop de doo That doesn't change the fact that it happened. Just because Sain Seto says it's okay doesn't mean it should, should occur. If it wasn't for you guys, I never would have even heard of it. It's also satisfying in a devious way that there's a lot of people that don't know. They're like, well, wait, who, who is that? And it's about his sisters, and people might go, well, his sisters, who, who, who is he talking about? I know exactly who he's talking about, and I know you guys know exactly who he's talking about. Starring Washu's hair and Ryuoki's spike, and that's it. That's all we see of the main cast. And frankly, I just thought it was it was really a bit of a, a jerk move that they would have so many blatant references, but it and it felt like it was leading somewhere, and then you get to the end and you're like, wait, I never got my cameo. And what we need most now in the franchise is someone who can totally upend the, the status quo. And it is called Ai Tenshi Muyo. And as Dagon, you pointed out so very well previously in some of our discussions, this was the first time we've seen that outfit since 1999. And it's incredible how nostalgic seeing that again made me feel. So she pulls it out and starts teasing him with it. What? Like, what'd you say about me? <laughs> that felt like old Tenshi. And I think that that, if anything, should prove to people that Nagishi and his people know Tenshi. They understand what makes it special for people. If that's the one that does it, that's the one that does it. Kiss, 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 choo, choo, choo. And unlike previous times we've seen him cross-play, shall we say, this is what everybody's been waiting for, to see the, the old girls that they've known and loved for so long mix it up with the new girls that they've just been exposed to. I am a busy person, but I can find time out of my day to watch a four-minute episode. It had to be Hana showing up at Tenchi's doorstep, having speed-written and speed-drawn a series of doujins, some sort of fan fiction about her and Femchi and their adventures, it obviously implied in a romantic Yuri sense. I'd like to think that it's not just a wink and a nudge to, you know, Kamaket, but specifically to Kajushima, as that is what he does. And there's we, there's no way we could touch them all. And, uh, God, it's like Aika's going into a, uh, almost like dominatrix punishing her, and she's going, oh, please forgive me, Onesan, and you're, and I'm like, oh my God, they're doing, Oh my, it, it's, it's Aika's Call Me Princess, I swear, oh my god. Nope, sucker can move! I've seen Kumo-kun in action again, yes! The spider! Calm down, girl, put, put the remote down. The four flaps on the top open up in that trademark style, and what pops out? I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking crazy, crazy monstrosity, nope! Cute little washu head! Boop. He's supposed to be there to be a scout, this is a job. A job, a job, a job a key moment, and this repeated itself multiple times throughout the series, but the first really key moment I can think of for me personally was our episode 17. Um, uh, I believe it's uh, the festival begins, and uh, there's a reason we chose that for Chibi Pa, if you've seen that video, when we were introducing it to, to people there. Um, I, I, I was astounded because every Tenchi series has always had that problem of you introduce a new character especially you know it's inevitably a new girl people are just gonna hate or people are gonna be uh skittish gun shy uh as i think most of us or all of us were with i that was when you know every bit of doubt left my mind where i was like this is it this is pure tenchi if you will from there from then on out it was just i'm just gonna enjoy the ride i'm just gonna revel in it because this is awesome but yeah, it, was, it was just a quiet ride like you know, what what do you say at the end of this? It, it's impossible. And as you've seen by the, surely the length of this podcast, there was just so much that happened that uh, you know, by the end of it, it was just like, how how do you end that, man? Like there there is no proper stay gold sign off on that. I I wanted nothing more than that Groundhog Day thing that we talked about. You know, just can can every day be that again? I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to leave this. I want to, you know, that was such that was an amazing life experience. It was just like I, I don't want that to ever end. 
I broke down and started crying. Legit. It was just like all of the all of the amazing stuff and the doing everything that we wanted to do times ten was just it all hit me at one time. And I just I kinda had to sit there and realize that this is it. Like, you know, that was that was Tenshi Forum. What a journey it was. Yeah, I'll tell you this. It's supposed to be a fun time, right? The Beatles song, I get by with a little help from my friends. At almost every turn, it wasn't. It, did, it didn't feel like it was just us. It felt like we had all of Tenshi fandom with us. It felt like we had all of you, the listeners, all of the people that we've met on Facebook and on the forum, and who watch our YouTube channels. Like it felt like you were all there with us at several different points along the entire journey, and that was the really cool part where we were. We really understood that we were we were repping. We were repping Tenshi fandom as a whole, and it was it was a really cool, really cool experience to be able to do that. For all of you, uh, I hope you'll forgive us. We, we love we love doing this, and we we love you guys for listening. Thank you. It makes it worthwhile. Well, I would say that wraps it up. That wraps up that amazing, excellent adventure. And unlike ending it normally, I will say that the carnival comes and goes, but when you're with Tenchi Forum, the carnival never really goes away. Stay gold. Mm-hmm.